And AVID uh, stands for Agent Visual Inspection Disclosure. Uh, in the state of California, we need to have that form filled out. It's typically four pages. It was 84 pages. It was like a crime scene report. And when I was reading through it, he, in he incorporated photos. Um, I've never had one with photos. I guess if it's necessary, it would make sense. We are supposed to fill that out kind of uh, broadly for our protection because we're not home inspectors. We're not crawling through the house trying to find out things. But we do need to disclose things that are notable and um, possibly material information that we want to share with um, the buyer and the seller when we fill this out representing a buyer. So there's no liability on us. So for example, if we were told like if there's holes in the wall, let's just say it's a fixer, you don't want to say there's seven holes in the wall because what if there's more, you can get in trouble. So you want to say something like there's some holes in the walls, there's some marks on the walls, there's some wear and tear, that type of thing, and that will protect us. But it's usually really simple, very boring. Uh, we'll just say living room has some holes in the walls, some marks on the carpet are worn. That's what it sounds like. Well, this agent, I know based off of the records that I was looking uh, up for him that he's had his license for a long time, but there was no records of any transactions. Uh, additionally, the house that he was selling was his mother's, so go figure. Well, he is a working professional, not in this field. You can tell he was very uptight, very um, took, you know, copious notes. Uh, and so when he served us with his Avid, it was insane. Like I can tell he obviously didn't know what he was doing. He was with this brokerage that had no office. It was all online and um, I've never heard of them. But this guy was noting things like, there's a crack on the sidewalk. <laughs> like not, nothing major, like standard stuff. Um, he took pictures of a tree bush that had browning leaves. Uh, he had like noted some stains on the floor. So he definitely also went back with the, um, through the home inspection report and noted some things, which it's unnecessary, right? Because that's not his opinion. And obviously we did the home inspection report, so we already know that information, but it was just insane. Like, and if you understand that he was giving me an 84 page avid think about how the rest of the transaction looked and the email conversations I've had with him. It was one of the craziest transactions I've ever did.